The concept of an electric current is usually associated with the movement of electrons. We imagine an electric current as a flow of countless numbers of electrons rushing through wires or through the vacuum of the electron tube. But the electric current is not necessarily the flow of electrons. The electric current is the movement of electric charges. And not only electrons have charges. How many types of electric current can be counted? In most cases, we have to deal with the electric current and metallic conductors. This current is indeed an organized motion of electrons, which is suitable for the determination of the word flow. This character is also inherent to the current in the inter-electrode space of vacuum tubes, which can serve as a model example of the flow of free Russian electrons. This type of electric current is best known, therefore there is no use to dwell upon it. Very common carriers of electric charges are ions. Atoms in their normal state are electrically neutral. The positive charge of the nucleus is completely offset by the negative charges of the electrons in the electron shells of the atom. However, atoms can lose electrons of or capture excessive supernumerary electrons. In both cases, the atom becomes an ion. The atom with missing electrons has a positive charge and with excessive a negative one. Orderly movement of ions is also an electric current. But not all the ions can move freely. Even a small electron is hard to wade through the thicket of atom and molecules of a solid matter, and the diameter of the atom ion is almost a million times bigger. On the contrary, in liquid conductors the electric current is produced mainly by the motion of the ions. Negative ions move to the positive pole, positive ions to the negative one. The electrolyte of the batteries and electrochemical cells have ion current.